Sagan. Welcome to you all from the Giuseppe Miazza in Milan. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the expert's hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Chino, João Cancelo, into Milan were imperious when the two sides last met, and the fans are asking for more of the same. João Mario, Cantreva, into the channel. So what now? Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Massive leap. He will be livid with himself. Now the pass. Good ball over the top. How about a shot? Looking for a decent ball in. And that should be the keepers. Shrinking half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. But we're already into the second period. Inter clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Whipped in. Hits one! Hits in! Just the pick me up the whole game needs. Well, he was never going to miss from there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worked a treat. Out wide to the right. He's gone for it! Back of the net! Well, we're all back to square one, but I hope this game opens up from here. It looks as if it could happen.
He was urged to shoot, and he duly delivered. Yeah, it looks simple, Peter, but it requires intelligent use of space and, and good understanding to pull it off. That has certainly made things interesting. Oh, I think the coach will really be annoyed with that. The players were still thinking about their goal and just got caught napping. And here's the chance to counter. Looks like a good ball through. Xiao Cancelo. Gets up to head it! He's done very well to get to that. Well, you can't ask for much more than to admit that. defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Trevor. Brozovic. Towering header. Goal! Inter! And the game is well and truly turned on its head. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Final checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Inter Milan get themselves into the lead. Yeah, for me, this team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. Tries to get it forward quickly. Gel Mario. Inter Milan get it back again. And Trevor takes control of it and he's on the move. Plays it out to the flank. Deflected behind for a corner kick. So the manager making the last of his changes. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Look, that's one of the first things you learn, whether you're a striker or not. Just anticipate a goalkeeping parry or spillage, and sometimes you'll get lucky, it'll come your way. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. Oh, this has been an immense contribution from one player. He's been just about unplayable. The irresistible force today. Looks to slip it through. Matchy! It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? And it's Kantreva. Kantreva passes it through. It's a good looking cross. All the balls come loose. And it's been taken straight back, played out to the right. He's got away. Matri can't quite comprehend how he managed to do that. How red is his face now? It speaks for itself, doesn't it? Best left there.
Pacino. Brozovic. Berardi gets it back. Defenders on the back foot. Now the pass. Room for a shot. Great tackle, he had to get that right. Aimed long and direct. And that's it. Well, somehow they turned it round. Every ounce of energy, emotional, physical, mental, is spent. That is some win. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Inter simply made their superiority count. They found cruise control quite early and, and didn't need to go to turbo.